Hello everyone, my name is Sajjan Vag and welcome to Teach Max videos. So I hope you enjoy the sessions of structural analysis one right from strength of material, right? So strength of material, structural analysis one, two, structural design one. Okay, so now here I'm for introdu introducing the new subject that is design of RCC structures. Okay, so or we can say structural design two. Okay, so this is second design subject you might be learning in third, uh, in last semester of third year engineering, uh, civil engineering of course. Okay, so here RCC material, so if you see 80 to 90 percent constructions, low rise buildings are constructed by using RCC material. It is frame structure, right, the load of the slab is transfer over the columns, right. Uh, beams, beams transfer over to the, uh, into the column, column transfer into the sub column, uh, adjacent uh, column of the floor and directly it is transferred into the base, okay, Col column base or you can say footing, okay, so and footing transfer into the soil. So we need to analyze, we need to design these RCC structures. So applications of RCC structure right from electric pole, buildings, bridges, w water tanks, retaining walls, dams, so there are n number of applications of the RCC structure where we can design the, we can construct the structures by using RCC, reinforced cement concrete material. So this RCC structure, yes, we are, I'm going to design this by using IS 456-2000. Okay, so it is fourth version mentioned. <coughs> Uh, it is the fourth version actually, fourth revision uh, 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 done by BIS in this 2000, okay, 456-2000. The first IS available, uh, <coughs> it is developed in 1960, okay, so, and it is revised afterwards three times, okay, so this is third, uh, fourth revision actually. So, in 1978 actually, the, we replaced the method. Previously, we use working stress method for RCC. From 1978, we using we are using IS 456. Uh, to 1978, we using limit state method of design. Okay, so limit state method of design. Since from 1978, it is used. Okay, it having advantages over other method. Okay, working stress method, limit uh, ultimate load method. So. That's why we use this method, okay, and it gives a economical design, okay. So using this IS, we can go with the design. Also, some relevant Indian standards we are going to use here, that is IS 875, 1984, part 1, part 2, uh, 1987 actually, part 1, part 2, and uh, part 3 is revised now. We can go with IS 875, part 3, 2000. 16. So these codes are applicable for dead load, lie load and wind load respectively which is acting over the structure. So these are also used, okay, as well as you can go with the SP, okay, uh, where you will get the design. But these are not allowed in exam. So IS 456-2000 is allowed in exam. The, using that you can design this RCC structure. So the best friend for RCC is, uh, design of RCC structure is IS code. So you must your IS, uh, this IS 456 with you for the design. Okay, so when you are going to learn this subject particularly, so in this subject particularly these these RCC structures indirectly, yes, these are made up by using number of structural elements. So these structural elements we can design. Okay, so just idealization is done. Okay, so slabs are there. We know the floors and roofs are generally these are called as slabs, okay, so we can construct or we can design the slabs or we can categorize the slabs based on the longer to shorter dimension of the slab as well as the reinforcement provided in it, okay, so one way slab is there, two way slab, we can construct flat slab, flat plate there in RCC, these four type of slabs are generally designed and used okay so if the ratio longer dimension to the shorter dimension if it is greater than or equal to 2 we go with one way slab if two way slab 
if l y by l x ratio means longer dimension to shorter dimension ratio if it is less than 2 we can go with two way slab where we provide the reinforcement in both the directions flat slabs where if you want a beamless construction so generally a proper headroom is required so generally in a commercial buildings okay we go with the flat slabs where beamless system is there it means directly the load of slab is transferred into the column okay so that is called as flat slab so that also we can design in rcc structure we can use it okay so flat slabs are a flat plate so these flat slabs are with the column head so there is a head provided to the column to carry the share but without share also without head also column head also we can design the slabs that is called as flat plates okay so these yes you can use m <coughs> uh, direct design method ddm or you can go with equivalent uh, <coughs> frame method these two methods are applicable to design these okay but our syllabus is restricted to first two only so first learn these two then you can go with this also okay so this you can learn in structural design three subjects so it is mentioned there so that we will run there okay so i'm going to focus on these two only in this subject okay then some members structural steel uh, structural rcc members they are subjected to transverse load best example beams beams we can design yes we can go with simply supported beam cantilever beam generally occur in the structure as well as continuous beam two span three span multi span continuous beams are there so that we can analyze these continuous beams we can analyze by and design by using is coefficient method and movement redistribution method okay so remember these are analysis methods is coefficient and movement redistribution method gives the internal forces present in each uh, in the beams means shear force and bending moment so afterwards the design is totally based on limit state method of design so using limit state method we design this okay so <coughs> balconies where uh, the cantilever beams are occur that we can design okay simple corridor is there then uh, beams uh, simply supported beams are there so that we can design so all these we can design so it is subjected to dead load lie load and floor finish load so using the combination by multiplying partial safety factor and all and all so we can design this okay also the columns the columns maybe it is actually loaded maybe it is uniaxially loaded maybe it is biaxially loaded so these we can design these are occur in the rcc structure so that we can design here okay as well as the footings column bases footings we can say foundations so isolated column footing we can go with combined column footing so already you learn what when we go with combined footing when we go with trapezoidal combined footing when we go with strap footing slab footing so all these we can design here so our syllabus is restricted to only single isolated footing may be rectangular it may be square so we are going to design this here okay so i hope you understand this so it means in shortly we are going to design slabs beams columns and footings okay so these are the four mainly four structural elements occur in the rcc structure so if you able to design this definitely you can design whole rcc building in short okay so i hope you understand this okay so in this subject yes here you can watch my videos it is available on google play store just go through our app teach max videos okay you will get app uh, from google play store install it download it so might be you are using for uh, right from structure and uh, uh, strength of material from first year okay so this is available now you can go through it okay also <coughs> here you will get the 30 to 40 vid uh, uh, lectures videos okay where i have covered these all uh, design okay all structural elements design definitely if you go through these you will score in this subject okay i'm damn sure you will not only pass in this subject you will score in this subject if you watch um, out of 40 10 to 15 videos then also it is sufficient to clear the subject okay so i hope you understand this okay so see you there take care bye